When I set time aside for practicing, I will try to do it in still water. The reason so is that a lot of times in the river, the river creates a rod load just by the flow. Therefore, it kind of can hide a lot of casting mistakes, whereas if you're in a pond, you really have to generate that load on your own. Not only that, I like to, when I practice to really mess things up, I'll use a double taper line also a lot of times. And that line just doesn't lie. <laughs> it tells you everything. <laughs> I think the single most fundamental um, aspect of spay casting is to keep everything smooth. Use a slow, easy tempo. When things fall apart for me, it normally is from the start of the cast, so I like to go back to my lift and then keep everything simple, try to break everything down. The other uh, fundamental part of spay casting is to have a really good rod. <laughs> the most single most quality is this thing, it's about feel for me. I look for rods that I feel as though have a soul and um, normally comes down to their taper. You know, I look for something that has a, a, a bend all the way through, progressive bend. This is my, as I, is my 9135. Um, love the 7127. And then of course I like my competition rod. I love it. I think it's the best out there. Um, he's got this new um, 12 foot one that it's a five piece and I think that's pretty phenomenal too. That's great for when I ever get enough money to travel, which I can dream. Yes. Russia. <laughs> dream. <laughs>